Hi. In today's video, we'll be talking about how you can set up an external power on button for your computer so that you can turn it on from, for example, your desk. But first of all, subscribe to the channel because this helps a lot and I can see you're not subscribed. So enable your notifications so that you do not miss any nice videos that come up. Now let's look into the custom power on button. So your PC is usually set up together with your computer screen. Sometimes it's on the table and sometimes maybe it's on the ground. That means that you have to bend over and try to turn on your computer, which is not that ergonomic. In an ideal case, you would want it somewhere here underneath the table so that you can uh, have it in hands reach. As you can see, here is the power on button and you have to reach out with your hand to press it. The idea behind this concept is to eliminate this power on button from your computer. So by doing this, your power on button will not work anymore, but you will have an external power on button that you can place wherever you want and be able to turn on your PC using that button. You can place it on your desk or underneath the table as I just showed you. And the first thing for you to do if you want to do this setup is first of all, obviously order your uh, button from AliExpress or whatever website you would like. The link for this external button and cord is down below in the description. It's on AliExpress. So if you want to buy it from there, uh, you, can, uh, you can do it from the link below. After doing that, you need to search for your motherboards manual and look for the JFP1 connections. As you can see here, I'm showing you an example of my motherboard where I found the JFP1 connectors. You can just search in your manual and, uh, and find them. It's usually just labeled JFP1, so uh, it shouldn't be that hard to find. After finding the JFP1 connectors, each pin on that JFP1 uh, connector bundle is labeled with something different. So the main pins we are looking for are a number of four pins. So we have the power switch, which is a plus minus and two power LEDs, one for plus and one for minus. As you can see in this example of my motherboard, they are aligned. So the power switch is aligned with the other two power LED minus and plus. And that's just basically it. You have to uh, put in the wires by yourself, set up the cable and do some uh, cable management so that it looks neat and then enjoy your new power on button. I hope you liked this video and you found it useful. And let me know in the comments if you did this setup and if it was useful for you or not. Give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.